Hey guys, what's up? It's James from James' Jet Tiles, and today I'm getting a new freezer for all my feeder mice that I breed myself. First off, I gotta clean that that junk pile right there. And I gotta change the water in my fish tank, so I'm gonna take you along and show you how I do that, and we'll get that freezer in here. And for a lot of people who don't know, fish tank water is really good for plants. So I keep this cup in my sink for whenever I do water changes. Just take some of the water, fill this cup up, and then I just go water my plants with it. Now one thing I really need is something to scrape the glass. Now that I think about it, I was just at the aquarium store and I forgot that it was something that's on my list. That's why I have a physical list. That was a workout. Not really, but like, it's really hot. So, yeah. Alright guys, so I got this freezer all set up. It's running a little warm. I had it on high, and then everyone, everything's staying frozen in there. Let's take a peek. Uh, there's some fish food in that red container, some cryo packs for shipping geckos, and then all these are frozen mice, black and white. Some I bought, all these babies I produced, 
And so everything's been frozen for a little bit now. So I turned it down to six-ish, max seven. I turned it down to six-ish uh, just to see if I can try not running it at full power and see if everything stays frozen. That'd be really great because it gets really hot. Um, so it's working great. I really appreciate it from my buddy, Aaron Solano. He works at Reptile Depot. Um, I gotta feed my Cresteds and I gotta feed my snakes. And I got like an hour to do it before I should go to bed. Should go to bed. Should. I already look tired. All right, guys, I'm gonna wrap this video up. I'm James from James's Jeb Tiles. Check me out on Instagram, on Twitter, James Welch on Facebook, jamesjebtiles at gmail.com. And I'll catch you next time.